It's October, and that means it's time for Halloween. And when I think of Halloween in Disney, I think of the Haunted Mansion. So today, I'm going to be unboxing these Haunted Mansion mystery pins. I haven't seen these pins out of the box before, but they do say they glow in the dark. So if they do, that'll be really cool. And we'll take a look at those after the unboxing. Now you can get these anywhere in the parks. And the front of the box has the Haunted Mansion sign. And it says it glows in the dark up top there. The top flap says Disney Parks. The bottom of the box has the price tag, which is $17.99 per box. The right side of the box says it's an eight pin collection and that there's two pins in the box. On the back, where we usually find the pin designs, we just have all the legal stuff. The pin designs are actually on the left side of this box. I don't know why they put them there. Maybe there's a good reason. I wish they didn't put them there because I really can't see them. <laughs> so I had a magnifying glass out earlier trying to figure out what these are. Um, so the pin designs we can get are Constance Hatchaway, which is one of the stretching room portraits, um, the bride, hitchhiking ghosts, the fence post, um, light post that the Haunted Mansion signs on, the tightrope walking girl um, stretching room portrait, the organ from the ballroom, and then two more stretching room portraits, the barrel guy and the three men in quicksand. Super cool. So let's dig in and see what we get. I've got four boxes here, which is eight pins total. I'm hoping to get uh, the four stretching room portraits. I think it'd be really cool to have all four of those. So let's take a look in the box. Box one. Cut that there. See what we get. I don't even know what size these are going to be. Since it's so small on the side here, I'm thinking they're going to be really small. They do feel kind of small. So let's see what we get in this first bag. Our first pin is the Hitchhiking Ghost. Okay, that's pretty cool. I thought it was only two of them. I'm like, why do they only have two? But now I can see that it's three because <laughs> the picture on the box was so small. All right, I like that. Bag two, we have Constance Hatchaway. Awesome, so we've got one of the stretcher room portraits. Okay, let's keep it going. I'm just gonna cut the, uh, the tape on all, all of those boxes so I don't have to keep doing that. Box two, let's get the rest of this uh, stretching room portraits. Pin number three, we have, oh, another hitchhiking ghost. So we got a double. You can never have too many hitchhiking ghosts, right? Well, no, we can't, we only want two. <laughs> we don't want three. <laughs> and our next pin is ooh, the guy in the barrel, another stretching room one. He's not actually on the barrel, so it's not a um, like a replica of the stretching room portrait, but it is that person. Okay, so we get into box number three. And I can kind of tell like the elements that might be uh, glowing in the dark. So we'll take a look at that. Oh, I've got the, uh, the fence post with the Haunted Mansion sign. I don't really know what you call that. Fence post, the column, Haunted Mansion sign. That's really cool. So far we're doing pretty good. And let's see. Our sixth pen is the Bride. Awesome. Okay, last box. We still have two stretching room portraits to go. Come on, let's get those. All right. And this one, this one looks like another Bride maybe. Nope, another Constance Hatchaway. So we got two of her. And our last pen is... A third hitchhiking ghost. Okay, so we got a lot of hitchhiking ghosts. We can uh, put them all over the place. So there we go. We got a triple, which that's always kind of a bummer. We got uh, two constant hatchways, and cool. We got a pretty good variety. Not too bad. So let's take a closer look, and then I'll try to see if uh, we can get some good looks at the glow-in-the-dark feature of them. That would be pretty cool.
So what did you guys think of these pins? Out of the ones I got, my favorites are the Haunted Mansion Sign and the Bride. I thought they looked the best in the dark. Overall, I wish these pins were a little bigger, especially with that glow-in-the-dark element to them. They're, they're so small that when you see the glowing element, it's kind of hard to make out what you're looking at. So if they were bigger, I think that would have been a lot better. But they're really cool pins, and they'll go great with all my Haunted Mansion pins. So one day, I'll gather all my Haunted Mansion pins up, put them together on a pin board, which will be really cool. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.